Hi guys. Hello, hello. What's up, friends? How's it going? What's up? All right. So, afternoon makeup. We are going to go straight in. We got my eyebrows on. We got my primer on. I am loving the shiz out of the mattifying primer. This is my this is my go-to. It's my thing. It's my it's my it's the bomb, okay? So we have three different types of primers. You got regular, hydrating, and mattifying. This mattifying, I have combo skin. So if you're super, super dry, mattifying may not be, be for you. But if you're combo, it's really good. I mean, you're going to do what, I mean, whatever's best for your skin is great. Like I said, we have three different types. Um, this to me really gives me a flawless look without looking cakey. Especially because I use, I wear a lot of makeup. I like a lot of makeup. Um, I like that full face look every single day. So the mattifying primer has been my best friend since last, since March 15th. So I've been using that since. Hi. Hi, Savannah. Hey, Shallon. What's up? Um, yeah, I don't need to put that on because I already did. Put, it, put any of your, fat, your primers on. Let them sit one to five minutes so that you have a nice dry area for your makeup to sit on. Now I'm going to mix my two spray foundations because um, I'm in between. And my face looks more red. I actually took a before picture and posted it. My face looks more red when I have the con uh, concealer and uh, eye primer on my eyeballs. Okay? Okay. Okay. So we're going to mix up some chenille and some charmeuse. If you guys have not seen the beauty box, the April beauty box is a mace balls. Just saying. Um, it's absolutely like bananas. It's $452 of full-size makeup skincare and samples no catch it's $99 and it's got a little bit of everything in it it's $450 worth of makeup friends uh for 99 bucks there's no no obligations you do not have to sell so much each month you uh also get a lifetime discount starts at 20% moves up to 30 off of anything you sell or purchase. So if we have a sale and you and our sale is 20% um, off or say 25% off, you then purchase yours and get your 25% off. You're getting any product for half off. Like, hello, it's a good damn deal. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm stippling this makeup on around my face so that when I go to blend, it's, there's, you know, it, I have less makeup to move. I've already got it kind of patted all over. So when I go to buff it out, hey, Janine. Hi, Diana. Hi, Mandy. So when I go to buff it out, I don't have to move that makeup so far. So then you just buff it out. I love the spray because I want a full coverage makeup. I have lived my whole life trying to... Mix it, mix, I, I should say, I, I've tried to blend my freckles. Now, now that I'm older, I mean, obviously, it's just one full head of um, sun damage. But growing up, I hated the fact that I had so many freckles. And I look at Ty and I'm like, oh, his face is so cute. He's got so many freckles. And I hated it. I hated it. So anyway, you know, we all have body dysmorphia in some ways. We're all looking for something that... You know, something drives all of us crazy somewhere. So, and my forehead stays white at all times. It doesn't get sunburnt. It doesn't change. So, I've got to match. I got to get the in-between. So, I've got to get what's going to match my neck, what's going to match my face, and what's going to cover my problem areas. All right. Hello. Hello, friends. So, anyway, the beauty box is how you get $350 of makeup free. And a lifetime discount. If you're sitting at home and you're off right now because the world's closed down and you need some extra, well, extra, whether it be for um, income, whether it be for sanity, whether it be, you know, just a new hobby, I got you, boo. I got you. All right, so I pull this just barely down. All right, we got the whole face. Hello, 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 my friends. What's up? How's it going? Okay, good. 
got that all on there. Ooh, that's that's bouffanty ish Nice hair. Um, so today was dog wash day. So I haven't messed with Bella too much since she had the babies. She needed it. She needed it something fierce. So let's just do, just throw some palette four on. Palette, oh, as I try to throw it, this is palette four. All of our palettes are retiring. We are getting a newer, a new a palette eight. Um, they've are, they're already working on it. The colors have been chosen. This is tender. Um, they're just kind of working out the whatever marketing, blah, 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 whatever companies do to release new products. So if you haven't got your favorite, if you haven't got your favorite uh, palette yet and it's still available, yell at me and I'll grab it for you. So anyway. Dog wash day. It took like two freaking hours. Hey, Sonny, what's up? Um, Ace hates me. I'm cool with it. Whatever. <laughs> he was being jack wagon. So that sucked. I'm going to use cheerful, light bl blue, bluish gray, I should say. So now he just looks like he has a really small head because I just got his head and face done. And then I was like, fine, screw you. And I made Corey wear a cape and hold him. Because he was making me insane. Anyway, hello, hello, hello. Hi, friends. But Bella got the full Monty. She got Loma hair oil. She got everything that I get. We conditioned her. We did a leave-in. Then we washed her out. And then she got, like I said, hair oil. A new, new pony. But she's still not ready for a haircut. She's like, uh, get away from me. Okay, so we used the cheerful color, okay? Now I'm going to go in with Triumphant, the darker blue. Same brush. And we're just going to put this here in the outer corners. Hello, hey, you guys, what's up? Let me see if I'm not getting any messages. What's up? Or comments. Possibly. Possibly. Hello, hello, hello. So this is just a quick slap on face. So I'm just kind of lifting that up and going up and above the crease So, um, the only puppies I've ever had, uh, were healers, except one time when I was first married, my dad was a sheriff, remember? And some lady had called and a stray dog had had puppies in her garage and it was cold. It was freezing outside. And so one of my dad's deputies brought these puppies into the office and they, some of them were froze on, near to death. And so we did like the whole 101 Dalmatians thing and put them in front of um, like a heater and rubbed them until they kind of unthawed and came back to life. For reals, for reals, like it really happened. Um, so I had those puppies, I had, I kept two and then couldn't keep two in an apartment because they were Rottweiler labs. So, so these puppies is what I'm getting at. They grow fast, man. They grow really, really fast. And poor Bella. She's got hickeys all over her belly. She looks like a hoe. Zane's like, what are all those marks? And I'm like, they're hickeys. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. We'll let her go. We'll let her off this time. Uh, next time she comes home with hickeys, we're going to have a problem. It's going to be an issue. All right. So I'm just grabbing a deluxe brush 
spray it with a little bit of toner. That one was grapefruit because it was right there. And I'm grabbing Secretive, the gold. Hello. Hi, Miranda. How are you? So anyway, this is just secretive. That's the gold in this same palette. I'm good. Like I said, uh, we did dog baths today. Bella was way better than I assumed she would be, and Ace hates me, so. But Ace has little man syndrome. He... He thinks he's a giant dog. He thinks he is like a cow dog. He he has always, always, always thought that he was a, like, a cow dog. He always thought he was a farm dog. He always, like, now he thinks he's a construction dog, so he runs around out back with our car healers, and, except Meg. Meg tries to eat him every time, but him and Mike are out there. I'm just like, you are a little dog. You're supposed to be a little dog. No, he thinks he's tough. He thinks he's pretty badass. All right, I think we're good with that. Okay, on to some highlight. So I highlight with my concealer. I use Organza and Chiffon. Also, if you guys are waiting for light colored concealers, if you've been out or your color was out, they're back. So, um... Just so you know, if you've waited or you were running low and we didn't have your shade, they back, friends. They back. Okay? Okay. Okay. Throw some concealer and or concealer, some chiffon and some organza up in her. And then I just highlight my areas with my concealer brush and down my nose because then we're going to contour my nose and make it look more slender it's palette four Palette 4 is, is really awesome. Most people were afraid of it because of the blues when it came out, but it really does end up looking very neutral uh, toned when you get everything on. Like, And when I blend that out, it really does look way less scary than people assume. And usually I really... Uh, like, I'll usually dampen a brush and go over it and over it, so I want that gold to really pop. It's a really pretty gold. <laughs> Hello! Yes, it does. Get on it. Hi, Brittany. How are you? Thanks for jumping on, you guys. All right, so. Get this. Cleaned up. I'm going to take my beauty bud, or blending bud, whatever the hell they're called, and dampen it. I got these ones off the Duval site. I've got a coupon code for 70% off. Um, I got it with my rose quartz roller. And these, they're like really, it's going to sound weird, but they're really bouncy. Hey, Laurie, what's up, my friend? Like, um, there's a lot of, of bounce. There's a lot of uh, give with them. I really like it. Um, and they're only like $4 plus 70% off. What's that going to be? Two bucks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I really like those. 
So I'm just going to take it now that it's damp, spray it with that uh, setting spray. And we're just going to spread that out. And I'm just dabbing it. See, it really does blend easy. And maybe it's just because these are a little fluffier. I don't know. But I like it. All right, so I'm just gonna. Make sure we get everything blended and then we'll go in with our setting powder. Why I'm still holding my hair, I have no idea. Okay, setting powder. This is also in the beauty box. Um, I freaking love setting powder. I love our setting powder. Um, it's it's good shit. It's good stuff. So I've already taken the um, the screen out of mine. By the end of it, I just take the screen out. It just helps me get my my powder out faster. Here's my hot ass husband. He's been out playing in his shop. Organizing wood or whatever. Hello. Hey, George, what's up? So like I said, I just take the screen out because I want to get this on faster. And I just press all, press the setting powder into all the places where that concealer might, uh, like wrinkle up, getting the wrinkles, crease up, whatever. And since that concealer is a little bit thicker, that's why we do that. All right, IT. Okay, then I'm gonna take my regular powder concealer brush and we're gonna just set the rest of our face, just brushing that on. We set. Alrighty, so. So, um, contour you can totally do. There's a lot of different ways. You can do it with a cream. You could do it with our stick foundations. You can do it with, oh, we don't have those anymore. <laughs> this makeup lasts a little while. So, um, thankfully, we have been informed that a new line of the powders is in the works. So instead of having the three different types of mineral powders, they're going to like minimize that and make it into one, one type of, of powder foundation. Okay. So that we don't have all these different types and colors and yeah, just less, less hassle, less, less thought. Um, so any of you powder gals, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to make it. Hey, Crystal, how are you? My love. Okay. So, from what Melanie said, we will still have where we should. 
still have enough uh, uh, stock to last till just about when the new one gets released. So I told you, I told you I have faith in them because they'll, they don't really ever leave us high and dry. And I'm glad she let us know this so that we could let all of our customers know it's going to be okay. Don't freak out. All right. A little bronzer to get that glow. And it helps to blend in that suede pressed powder. And if you guys have any questions or if you guys have problem areas or problems with your makeup, let me know. Let's chat about it so we can see if it's something that we can solve. Sometimes even the littlest things like exfoliating or just changing up a little bit of your routine can actually uh, fix problems that you may have thought were not fixable. Maybe you thought that you couldn't wear a certain type of um, foundation for some reason, or, you know, maybe, maybe you get the same flaky spots like I do all the time. Like maybe no matter what you do, you still get flakes around your mouth like me. Um, either way, we can totally chat about it and try to find, I'm looking hot today. And try to find um, a solution to those problems. You know what I mean? Because really that's what we're here for is to find a solution to the problem. To, you know, to aid in that. And now Benevolent. Benevolent is also in our beauty box. I use this every day. And if it's not this one, we have five other shades. But I just love highlight. I, I think it brightens up your face. Some people, I've heard, I have heard this. Of course, I don't believe it. But I have heard that there are people out there that think you can be too old for highlight. Ladies, that's not the case. That is not the case. I will be 90 years old pushing Corey in his jazzy because he'll be 100. And I will still be highlighted, mother trucker. I will. Hide and watch. Hide and watch, friends. All right, so now we're just going to blend that out. This brush is retiring. It will last you forever. I have had this brush from the very beginning. Like before the liquid foundation ever even came out. Because this was my first liquid foundation brush. And it's just an all over fabulous blending brush. There. See that? All right. Grab some eyeliner. Our eyeliners are going down to two for now. If you have a colored eyeliner that you love, you might want to snag it because they're going to get rid of the colored ones. We just don't sell enough of them. I don't anyway. Probably because I promote the black as my sole black. Every day. So, just get your liner going. And 
then we throw on our primer and our mascara to finish it up. I absolutely think that this primer is 100% amazing. Helps your mascara really pop. Helps your lashes look lifted. Um, keeps your mascara on. If you have a problem with oily eyelids or flaky mascara, this primer may be your best friend. I've gone without it one day since we got it, and um, I knew immediately something was wrong, that my mascara was not looking right. So, there's that. So make sure when you're doing your mascara that you are wiggling down at the bottom. Make sure you get those lashes separated. And sometimes the best way to do that is just do a thin coat on your lashes, move to the next eye, and then come back. Hey, Miranda, what's up? Because this brush does hold so much product that a brand new... Uh, a brand new tube of 4D, you might get on there and be like, whoa, this is clumpy. It's because you got to wipe some of that product off. Because, yes, it really does hold shit tons of product. But I find when I just put a little bit on each eye and then go back, kind of let that set, they separate kind of on their own. So that's what I do. And this is far from a new tube. Okay, and if you get mascara on your face, on your nose, on your eyelid, best thing you can do is just let it dry. Don't mess with it. I know we feel like, oh my gosh, we gotta get it right now with Q-tip. Don't let it dry. Then it'll just flick right off. And you'll be a happy camper, okay? Okay. All righty. So, just going to throw a little bit on my bottom lashes. Notice I barely have to touch those bottom lashes for them to kind of grab with this brush and separate. That's that, friends. And then finish her off with your setting spray. Oh, I forgot. I got to rub. I got to wipe some of that uh, makeup out of my purple hair, though. And then you'll be done. God, I love that. Our setting spray smells so good, and it works so well. Anyway, if you guys have, hello, Ashley, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, hit me up, message me, because a lot of times I don't see my comments, so like probably right now, who knows, uh, but you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.